possible, I'd like to do, um, just for my own sake, just do an interview on the Italian free movement. Yeah. Mm. yeah, yeah, I would imagine you yeah. would. If there's no, any other specific well, questions, not really. Well, specifically, I mean, but if meeting gonna... Funchi. Yeah. Well, I'd love like, like, like to concentrate on these shows. Yeah, you might take rather a long time. Read a lot, read, read a lot, read a lot. <laughs> uh, yes, I, I would have been amused. I mean, he and I got on incredibly well, actually. I think I'm one of the few actresses uh, that did get on well with him. But um, Whose idea was that of the bullet in the, in the lift? In the uh, beyond? Uh, was it Davies or yours? Is that, where, is that right at the end? Uh, you get the lift, you've got a little girl like that, and Dave comes in and he puts a bullet in the top of the the gun, and so you've got the gun that, and you look at the camera and you start smiling, and the lift all shuts. Oh, I can't even remember. Uh, uh, you know, I do remember the scene. I, I can't remember. I don't think it was my idea. Luce never found out until quite recently. Didn't oh, really? Yeah. What, never found out whose idea it was? No, he, uh, he, there was a joke played in the camera. Oh, I see. Oh gosh, well that, that's probably to do with sort of... Um, now he's eccentric and like rather mad and Oh, to totally. He's after you. <laughs> totally bananas. <laughs> who? who, who? Uh, Lucio, you mean? Exactly. Well, I mean, he's a... He's a well, to be absolutely honest, I've uh, always been rather drawn to strong, eccentric uh, characters in my life, and I hope my husband was one of them. Uh, so, <laughs> yeah. uh, uh, I really ought to learn a lesson from that. Perhaps I shouldn't be drawn to them, but I uh, always find them a bit of a challenge. And I, I, I do like people a lot, and uh, one of the nicest things about this business, I mean, we, we, it is about communication, whether it's on screen or off screen, and um, you stand a better chance of giving a better performance if you're mm -hmm. well supported uh, backstage, so to speak, and that you, you, you get on well with people. And um, I mean, people have sometimes said to me, I, I, I've worked with Mickey Rooney, actually, in Paris, oh, wow. as well as another Yves Montand and Mickey Rooney, and, and, and quite a few now, I come to think about it. To be absolutely honest, I don't think I've ever had a problem with anybody, because um, I listen to what people say. I, I, I like people. I always think there's good in everybody, and you can uh, find it if you look for it. And you you mm. get back what you give. So um, I'm a people person. So I expect that's uh, helped me tremendously through a lot of potentially difficult situations. And, and a lot of people couldn't believe that I actually wasn't terrified of Lucio. I mean, he made me laugh, quite frankly. Um, but, but the more outrageous he was, the funnier I thought he was. He, did, he, he made me cry once. I, I do remember that. Uh, that was during that scene, which you may remember. Which film was it in? So I get them all in rather a muddle these days. I haven't given them a great deal of thought recently. Um, was I think it's in the first one, actually. The worms come flying through the window. City. You know them much better than I do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was that scene was tricky. Actually, I, I seem to remember. Um, I think had everyone else had everyone else done the. Sh I can't quite remember if no. I think nobody else had done the shot. I was the first person to do it. Uh, Christopher George, God rest his soul, uh, I was having to deal with sort of rats and things like that the previous day, and uh, so I suppose worms seemed uh, like a minor occurrence, really, as far as Lucio was concerned. But anyway, that that was the only thing when I did start to slightly put my foot down because I, I have a slight phobia about worms, which comes from that great scene. No, no, I didn't. Yeah. No. no. Well, it comes from when I was little and I used to be sort of chased by, although I was older than them, by my younger brother and his friends and they used to sort of occasionally throw worms at me which then used to get caught in my hair so I have horrendous uh, memories of, of, of worms uh, uh, and this scene was really going to get to me. Um, I mean I could almost deal with the rats and the bats and the rest but uh, the worms was just a bit too much so, and it was very late in the day, uh, sort of like quarter to eight or something and they desperately wanted to get this shot in. I think they were going to do the others the next day, I can't quite remember. And I, I started saying that I didn't want to do this and I wasn't going to do it and I started uh, creating probably about the only tantrum I ever did create. And um, oh, no, I think I created one other actually, but that's for another time. Remind me when I had to be when I was shut in the, in the coffin. That, that was that was tricky as well. Oh my God. Oh, With Lucia, that was one other famous. one other near row we had actually. Yeah, yeah. So did Lucia start shouting? Well, you, well, you see, the, the reason he started shouting was because um, I couldn't keep my eyes open when this damn uh, knife thing uh, oh. came down. And I mean, they had a. You do understand. Yes. Oh, they had a. They, it it, yes. Well, well, it makes I, you flinch. Uh, Possibly because they had one side of the coffin and the camera was like 
well, either the front of it, depending on which way they shot it, they shot it in every way. I seem, I seem to remember that time the camera was on the side, so there was one side of the coffin off. I really don't think I could do that anymore, actually, Phil. I don't know how I did it. Anyway, I did it. You just think of the check at the end of the day. And, and just, get, just get on with it. And I was younger then. I don't think I would have done that now. Um, Anyway, uh, the, this knife was uh, coming down, and the stuntman had been very nice, and he'd promised me that you know this this uh, contraption that he'd got set up was completely foolproof. But I was thinking, just a minute, we're in Italy. Who who who, who believes them? You know, oh, do you ever believe anything an Italian says to you? Uh, although they say it very charmingly, you know, <laughs> more for me. And I suddenly started thinking of my English agent, my French agent, and, and the rest of my life and my career, and that I was going to get this knife through my face, and, and you know that was my career ruined from, from then onwards, and that. I was a complete fool and I shouldn't be doing this and I wasn't being paid enough and etc etc and um, anyway I mean I, I, I always try very hard to the best of my ability and probably tried even harder in those days when I was younger and more naive and um, I was lying there and this damn thing kept coming down and Lucia kept saying keep your eyes open because your natural reaction you see this thing is to go like, go like that it's just a natural reflex action and I couldn't do it I could not keep my eyes open I mean I could close them and then open them again I just couldn't do it so he started I started uh, screaming, I think, of that day, and uh, in Italian, you know, I won't tell you a few expletives that he was saying, I learned those pretty quickly, <laughs> and uh, I then started crying, and uh, I think I got out of the coffin and said, uh, well, you know, if you think it's so easy, you do it then, or something, and he said, oh, you know, of course, okay, okay, okay I'll get in, it's easy, look, 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 and there he was, I mean, I don't know how blind he is, or what goes on, but anyway, he just stood there, and uh, perverse as he is, and this thing came out, and he didn't bat an eyelid, <laughs> and uh, I couldn't do it, so I say. And the worms, I, I ended up, uh, I did the worms in the end, and I ended up uh, under great duress, I did it, um, and uh, I, I ended up in tears during the scene, which I think he quite enjoyed, actually. I could, I could, because I did get on very well with him, but there were just these two moments, hmm. and there was this sort of one of rather perverse power going on, and, and he had taken me aside and told me that maggots or whatever they are were I think they were actually and they, they were mixed with um, grains of rice I mean when you right. see the, 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 yes. the large yes. shot the white yes. shot uh, it, it, they're not all live ones but in amongst those grains of rice were somewhat um, real ones and of course when it came to the close-up they were real and the makeup man had uh, assured me that he and he had put this kind of invisible sort of mask to cover my skin on my face I had my t-shirt glued down and any kind huh? of thing that could that they could possibly have fallen down glued to me, literally. Um, but exactly, I did have nightmares about it uh, for a while afterwards, uh, just because I have this sort of mild phobia about worms. And um, uh, so, every, and Lucia kept telling me that they were the cleanest insects in the world. Now, I, I, I don't know whether that's true or not, but he was convinced that they, they were. So everybody was trying to tell me it would be all right. So in the end, I was going, oh, look, let's get this over with then. So uh, we did it, and uh, I was feeling extremely humiliated, and I could tell that Lucia was rather enjoying the fact that I was humiliated. And so then I started crying, and of course, the more I cried, the more he loved it, and the more he thought it was great for the scene. And so he kept not saying cut. So the scene went on and on and on and on. And... Uh, I just remember after it, when we finally did stop, the script lady, who was um, one of his uh, sort of colleagues who he worked with often, who was a wonderful lady called Rita Agostini, close friend, um, uh, well, less of a friend now, but I'm sure she's, I could ring her up tomorrow and she'd still be there. She's a wonderful script lady, a continuity. And she just sort of took me out round the... Uh, Di Paoli studio block thing and we were both crying by that stage she was crying because I was crying and I was crying because she was crying and, and then I was given a double brandy I think by the makeup man and it was all right in the end